Hello everybody, Epic Mewtwo here. Today we are back with another Dokkan Battle video and today we're going to be exploring the brand new Battlefield update. Battlefield just got a brand new update with some brand new bosses, so I'm very excited to play through with y'all. I have not done it yet, so this is going to be a first time reaction for me. The rewards did not change, which is A-OK, -okay. the rewards are really good uh, as they are right now but the bosses did change so i'm very curious to see if they actually change the boss mechanics or not i'm kind of assuming that they didn't but i suppose only time will tell let's just make sure we got squads that we're looking to run here yeah i think we're fine yeah we should be good okay cool all right so, I'm going to play through Battlefield here. First is this new Master Roshi boss. Should be pretty easy. Let's use uh, Extreme Tech. How I usually like to run my Battlefield runs is that I usually like to use my weaker team. Where's my other Extreme Tech? Uh, mm, I'm going to play Skinny for Frieza. Um, I usually like to run my weaker team against the proper boss. So... This is, I guess, technically what this, you know, the matchup should be, right? Like, you know, villains against heroes. But um, usually what I'll do is that even if this was a villain boss, I would probably run villains just because I like to save my better team for the harder bosses that are obviously going to be coming down the pipeline here. But anyway, let's take on this Master Roshi. No stun, and but you can seal him, so that's cool. <laughs> the funny thing about this I will say about this video is that I literally recorded a battlefield video last weekend and I was going to talk about like battlefield strategies and whatnot since it just came to global and I was going to kind of give my thoughts on it you know like how I usually run battlefield and whatnot and I was even going to do a part two but then the event left and then it got updated so I can't even show the global one anymore because I can't do it on JP because it changed so I was like, you know what, I'll just show off the updated Battlefield, that'll do just fine. And I can just talk about general Battlefield strategies while we're doing it. They wiped the floor with Roshi, by the way. Holy cow, that was actually disgusting. Good on you guys, though, for stepping your game up there. Alright, so we got that one stone. What's nice, too, is that not only do you get the stones from the mission rewards, like, you know, the little missions in that front screen on the left tab, you also get a stone for completing each boss, which is very nice. Wow, that looks terrifying. <laughs> so this must be why they updated um, his SA animations, because if you guys weren't away, I think I did talk about it in a news video, but they updated um, Android 19's SA animation, and I'm assuming it's obviously because of the fact that he's a boss now here. I really need to work on Kid Buu. I did his easy A, like, in terms of the medals, but I never actually, uh, what do you call it? I never actually, like, went through and awakened him. I need to do that. I've just been focusing on other units at the moment. All right. So Cell will probably do just fine here. These first couple stages are nothing too difficult. I'm not too worried about them. Honestly, we'll probably get through them quite quickly. Get that boy there. Uh, perfect. Okay. So Slug's going to be able to super. That's nice. If you haven't checked that out, by the way, I did a video on uh, two rainbow slugs. I might redo it. I kind of talked about it in the comments of that video. Excuse me. What? Hold on. So he absorbs key base supers i guess that makes sense considering who he is okay that's really cool the animation for that was actually really dope wow okay all right i see you 19 i see you okay all right all right okay that's pretty cool so we obviously then definitely want cooler to super since his even though he uses a key blast in his super it's not technically a key based super because he does that kick in the beginning. Just like how Super Saiyan 3 uh, Angel Goku's isn't technically a key based super, even though, like, you know, the majority of it is key. But anyhow, Cooler's gonna hit him with that Owari Da. There we go. 2 million damage. That's what I'm talking about. 500k. This is. Yeah, okay. Alright, cool. So the T. What? And he heals? Okay. I don't, I don't know how I didn't notice that part before. I thought he just absorbed that boy. Okay, interesting. 
Hmm. All right, so we got to be careful then with what we do here. Um, let's put Ginyu in the front, I guess. Let's make sure that nobody... Okay, so Cell's max key is not a key-based super. Excellent. Ginyu's max key is... So unfortunately, he's going to heal up there, but I think Freezes is too, right? I'm just making sure. Yeah, oh, okay. So maybe we put Ginyu in the back then so that he can't super, because then... Yeah, okay. This should work out well then. Because then this way, Ginyu and Frieza aren't supering and both MF key base supers. Nice. Okay. This adds a whole new dynamic to this. This is very cool. I, I really enjoy this, actually. This is awesome. Alright, Cell's gonna come through, do his thing. Bada bing, bada boom. Santa! <sighs> Perfect. Nice. Cleaned up shop real quick. Okay. So now we're done with that. That was very interesting. Okay, I like that they're adding in these new mechanics because obviously there's not like an Android 19 boss or anything like that in the game. So it's really cool seeing, you know, like them add something unique like that to Battlefield. I really enjoy that. Okay, let's move on here. Now we have two bosses to fight right off the bat, I believe. Uh, yes, okay, so Great Saiyaman and Nova. I believe that's Nova anyway. Let's fight Great Saiyaman, I guess. Um, okay. Let's see. So we'll do you, you... Uh, well, I guess it doesn't really matter, but whatever. You, you, you... Uh, bring the other meta cooler, sure. Is that good? Yeah, that'll work. Perfect. Okay. So I'm assuming Gohan won't have too much health, because I know last time this was like, um, you know, was two bosses here and one of them had like no health and the other one had like a ton of health. Never mind, Gohan has tons of health. Mm, I'm a little bit worried about this one, considering the, the key links on this team. Uh-oh, <laughs> uh-oh. Okay. We want to keep Buhan on rotation with Kid Buu, obviously. Let's do this. Um, neither of them are going to be able to super, I don't think. Okay, Frieza can super. That's good. That's good. All right, so good to know that for uh, when I do this in the future, Gohan is the one who has all of the HP. And also something interesting to note is that he's not attacking this first turn. I don't know why, but okay. All right, so he is attacking a fair amount. Obviously, we want Meta Cooler to keep linked with Meta Cooler. We'll have him ultra super, so that's good. Let me, uh, how much dupe system do I have in him again? Yeah, okay, 90%, good. So that should be plenty of juice to be able to do a decent dent in the mass. I almost said mass Saiyan here. Great Saiyan, man. All right, our cooler dudes are coming through. So many meta coolers in the game right now. It's so funny. Wow, almost three milli. Okay, all right, cooler. I see you, I see you. So it seems like this guy doesn't really have a gimmick because last time... The only character in Battlefield who had a gimmick was Zamasu with his healing shenanigans, right? So, I'm hoping that we get to see some more gimmicks throughout this. You know, obviously we have to have this, the stereotypical, you know, just like lots of HP type meme. But, I'm hoping we get lots of more shenanigans that we saw with that first fight. Unfortunately, we're going to have to do this to be able to not take any damage buhan's not gonna be able to super but that's okay because he's trash no <laughs> i'm kidding he's he's actually not a bad unit but regardless though oh well on this team anyhow but hey kibu with a dodge let's go let's go let's go all right kibu coming in clutch hit him with that kick hit him with that punch hit him with that key sphere of doom oh my gosh 3.4 milli my boy wow all right um that's a little that's a little whack but i'll take it i'll take it okay so we got all the freezes now we probably want this to happen because i want to keep meta cooler on rotation you know what actually now that i think about it meta cooler and frieza might end up taking them out by themselves so we're gonna do that and then because, if anything, Kid Buu should take him out next turn. And I think we have enough int key there to be able to super. So I think this will work out just fine. Alright, Medical Army. Strut your stuff. Show us what you're made of. 
Show us! Give me your war face! <laughs> Alright, so almost 3 million damage there. Another additional attack from Cooler. That's what's up. Super attack. Ooh! Wait, what? Am I reading that damage right? Was that 500k? Excuse me, my boy? Did we run out of turns? Is that what happened there? Okay, um... Did not see that coming. I don't even know what happened there. I guess we just ran out of charge, and maybe he just... Insta-KOs? I don't know. I wasn't looking at the charge, I was focusing on our key. Okay, well... I guess... Let's just do this i know this seems kind of actually wait hold up let's pull this leader skill again isn't that to everybody i don't remember whatever we'll be fine i think between all of these guys they should be able to take him out because gohan wasn't hitting too hard besides that super attack um obviously after the recording i'll be playing through this again and kind of figuring out a little bit more so yeah i think it's just after that charge he just hits you with that hot awadi duh. I think that's just what happened. I'll go back and watch the footage, so you don't have to comment and tell me what happened, because I'll I'll watch it when I edit it. But that's crazy, bro. That's like actually insane. Alright, Ginyu should be able to take him out. Hopefully if he crits. No. That's okay. Hey, the additional. Okay, perfect. Ginyu pull him through. The Ginyu Force team, I will say, is definitely a great team if you're in a situation like this where you need to just kind of take out that little bit of HP that the boss has remaining. They're the perfect team to do that because they have such good team composition that they can kind of just super whenever. So we won't be getting all the rewards, unfortunately, because we did lose that fight, but that's okay. Let's now move on to Nova. So I guess that's the shenanigan that goes on with Gohan. Look at me going, oh, there's there's nothing going on here. He just has a lot of HP. Nah, my boy is wildin', bro. I will say I am very excited for when we get more 100% LRs. Like if we get the 100% extreme LR so I can stop running Rose or Pomaji Vegeta <coughs> as the, uh, the sub leader on Battlefield. Okay, um, this looks all right i guess nova has a decent amount of health but it's nothing too insane i suppose so as you guys are you know you're seeing right now you're probably wondering like why aren't i using super agl i kind of explained at the beginning usually with my battlefield runs i tend to run my weaker teams especially you know in this case where i don't have a sub leader that's on par with you know i literally have two 120 leads for agl being vegeta and the hero goku right so because this is a you know a weaker boss than what's going to be on the final stage i tend to run my weaker teams first and you know not that super agl is like super weak or anything i mean it is definitely not as strong as some of the other teams in the game but it definitely uh, it definitely gets the job done for what we need to get here i do really wish though that i had maj vegeta specifically just for this so that i wouldn't have to run the rose as the sub leader because, I mean, I guess I could run the Nuker Frieza, but then, you know, not everyone's getting all the key and attack boost and everything like that. This Nuker Frieza, actually. Speaking of which, he's not going to do anything, but all he's here for is defense, so that's good. It is definitely important to bring a bunch of these defensive units on battlefield because, obviously, you want, you know, that hot, hot defense. All right, Rose coming through. That's what's up. That's what's up. I'm assuming we're going to start seeing Super 17, uh, the one that was on the last rotation, hit for a decent amount next turn. Okay, 600k, not bad. Uh, this, mm, I don't know about that one, Chief. Okay. I think this is what we're going to do because we want Super 17 to tank. Maybe this isn't the smartest decision in the world, but, you know, sometimes you got to just do it. So, this one has a charge as well. We have 21 charge left. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if it's just the same thing. I don't want to be around to find out. I'm not going to lie to you. Two million, by the way, not bad. But I'm assuming that's what happens here because obviously, you know, there's nothing else that I can see in terms of shenanigans going on here. 
but he did hit for a decent amount so that's good okay yeah perfect that's exactly what i was looking for good i was hoping super 17 would you know pull through for us there i love the super attack so much i know i say it in like every video i use extreme agl but it's so good okay so we can yeah rose should be just enough to take out the enemy here uh and then frieza obviously in the front there will be blocking all those hits i probably could throw rose in the front there to be honest but you know i'm a scaredy cat when it comes to these things especially in a recording where you know i there's a lot more pressure to not mess up so you know so then i, li I like to play a little bit more cautiously that way all right so oof rose did not take him out 17 should pull through with the defense then next turn i'm thinking hopefully anyway yeah, I didn't think Darkness Toa would take it. <laughs> nice! That dodge meme coming in clutch. Okay. Uh, Alright, so I guess it doesn't really matter Yeah, who attacks here. Um, because either way, um, one of them will take him out. Regardless of who it is. So I guess we'll just throw 17 in the front there. Well, I mean, I guess this rotation is literally all 17 except for the 18 that's partnered with him in the LR. But, you know. Plus his SA is a little bit faster. Perfect. Okay. So that hot one milli damage. He could not be sealed there, by the way. I didn't notice that at the top. Okay. So now we got that going on for us. So that's cool. So now I think we should be at the boss, correct? Let's see what the boss is for level two. What do we got here? What do we got? Cooler. Okay. Physical cooler. Interesting choice. All right. So let's bring... Um, Broly will bring... Where is... um? Where's my boy Janemba? There he is. Okay, we'll bring LR Frieza. We'll bring Majima Jita for some key. We'll bring 21U. And then where is, um, what's the other unit? Oh, I didn't bring Kuliza. Well, I guess that is probably a good choice. I usually link Kuliza with, uh, we'll just bring the other Broly, I guess. I usually link Kuliza with LR Frieza when I run STR uh, Extreme, just because I kind of like it that way. But he is terrible in terms of defense. I really hope when he gets a Dokkan Awakening, they give him a bit of a defense bus. buff, excuse me, because he's like hot garbage in that department. All right. So we got three decent units here on rotation. Frieza definitely has the most defense. Um, I'd like to get Rosé with Broly, so I guess we're going to put him off rotation for now. That is just barely the Ultra Super. Let's go, let's go. 21 is going to super perfect everyone's going to super cooler has a lot of health here he also has 27 charge as well so i'm assuming then the same thing will happen there if we don't you know if we don't beat him in time which i think we can you know we have type advantage but only time will tell i suppose Woo! frieza coming through let's go yo i love the super attack so much it's so cool all right so 17 or 17 oh my gosh 21's gonna pull through unfortunately i do not have a dupe for her i hope i can pull her on featured someday do have a dupe in rose which i'm very happy about 1.5 milli no crit that's what's up Ooh, that's gonna do a little bit of damage Ooh, that's gonna do a little bit of damage i don't know if i like that okay uh so obviously we want broly Ugh. see there's the problem i don't want broly to yeah okay i guess we're just gonna put janemba in the front that's kind of our best option right now unfortunately <sighs> okay janemba's gonna tank pretty well good the guard coming in clutch okay all right that wasn't the best he's ever done but it definitely wasn't the worst thankfully broly's gonna super twice we couldn't get the ultra super with him but that's okay Hopefully he crits on both. He should, considering how many dupes he has now. From how many of these st stupid LR Broly's I pulled. And I haven't pulled Maja Vegeta or Bojack yet. But anyhow. two. Okay, so that was about, what, like 2.4 combined? So that's not bad. Alright, Vegeta's definitely going in the back. Frieza, that is plenty of key for you, my boy. Lots of healing going on there as well. Um, maybe we should save that for LR Broly? Yeah, probably. Just in case we don't get the job done here. Uh, Vegeta's not going to do anything, but that's okay. This is funny seeing Frieza fight cooler like this. Alright, so they're going to go. Cool, awesome, good stuff here. This attack is really good for the time that it came out. Like, honestly, it's pretty good. Okay, so I'm assuming then 21 can probably take him out. Yes, maybe? Yeah, okay, cool, perfect. Alright, so 21's gonna take him out. 
we are now moving on to the final stage. Let's see what we got here. Level 2 clear. Hopefully, uh, this isn't too bad here. I'm hoping we don't have some Zamasu type shenanigans coming up, but I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen. All right. So, we are on level 3 now. Interesting. Okay. Usually, there's two more, but I will say when Battlefield first came out, this Battlefield 2.0, there weren't as many bosses on each stage and as battlefield got um i guess revived or you know like they renewed it every couple of you know it's like every two weeks or something like that they did add more bosses progressively so since this is kind of a big reset i'm assuming that's what they're doing here so let's go ahead and fight gohan i suppose we'll bring you we'll bring vegeta the lr of course we'll bring super saiyan 3 goku super vegito the last two slots are always so hard for me but i think we'll mix it up this time and bring some super saiyans because usually i bring those uh, god characters it is so nice having goku though so we get that little bit of an extra leader skill boost so interestingly enough this guy is usually tech i do think it's kind of funny that they use uh well in the beginning actually if i recall properly ooh, okay gohan locks rotations Mmm, interesting. Okay, that shouldn't be a problem for Khalifla since she can dodge, so we'll be fine for now. But what I was going to say was, I believe, if my memory serves me correctly, that originally when Battlefield 2.0 first came out, the bosses were their proper typing. Oh, Khalifla, please dodge my girl. Oh my gosh. The bosses were the typing of the actual card, like from the art that they came from, right? So like this Gohan would have been tech. But then as Battlefield progressed they changed up the typings every once in a while so i'm assuming they just kind of threw that original type thing out the window and they're just kind of doing it whatever they please now but i do think that that's what they're doing with the bosses that they're going to add more progressively as battlefield resets every couple of times so we'll have to see what happens vegeta coming in clutch okay that's what i like to see so who's getting locked this turn all right not the worst thing in the world we'll just do this we'll give the lr the boost because i Think? Oh, they can't. Oh, oh no, they can't ultra super. Nice. Come in and clutch with those key links. All right. So Super Saiyan 3 Goku can't, unfortunately. They might be able to take him out with counters and the LR super combined. We'll have to see. Super Vegito coming through. I love Super Vegito, bro. I like. I don't know what it is about him, but he's just such a cool unit, even in this day and age. All right. So they're gonna come through Super Saiyan 3. Oh, a boy can dream. A boy can dream. So they're going to come through. What do we got? Okay, 1.3. Not bad, not bad. Not enough to take him out. If Goku can get the additional, that would definitely be great, but that's okay. We should totally be fine for the next turn, even though we're at half HP. And Goku is transforming. Who's locked? Khalifla. Okay. I think we're just going to go for it with Goku. He should be able to take out the competition, no problem. Normally, I would put Gohan in that front slot since he's a little bit more defensive, but he does. Um, he's the one. Yeah, he takes a little bit to build up, I think, if I'm remembering that properly. But Goku took him out just fine. All right. So Goku is our saving grace yet again. Ironically, defeating his son in Super Saiyan 2, even though he was Super Saiyan 2. But, you know, really be like that sometimes. Okay. So let's see what we got. Now we're fighting Hitodazi. We obviously want to bring an int team. Uh, the int team that I have is High Key Fire. So we'll do this. Um, wow, we actually have like tons of really good units that we could bring here. I guess we'll bring Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. Why not? Okay. I know this is probably a little bit of a weird choice. Why would you bring LR Piccolo and Trunks? But since you know i don't know i feel like it's a lot more necessary to kind of give your lr's key in this mode i don't know why but that's just kind of how i feel so it's important to have trunks here all right so hit is attacking a lot like a lot he does have that 30 charge a lot of hp as well we're gonna give this to gogeta so then gohan can have that and that should work out just fine trunks will not be getting the super but that's okay he is attacking a lot in that middle slot oh my gosh thankfully we have gohan there for a little bit of defense all right so gogeta come through my boy that's what's up that's what's up two milli okay okay 
So it looks like it's about a million a health bar. That's kind of what it looks like from just how much damage he did. This looks really weird against hit. I, I, I don't know. That looks weird. Four million. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's ridiculous, my boy absolutely ridiculous so he is taking quite a bit of damage but honestly that's better than anyone else on this rotation would have taken okay hmm unfortunately that wasn't enough for goku to super the only reason piccolo is here because i'd like to link him with i'd like to link him with gohan um ui hmm i don't really like this i'm maybe i should have put the lr in the front I'm gonna rely on UI dodging for now. Hopefully. Oh, okay, we're fine. Yeah. With that much defense, we'll be alright. Okay, that though is a little bit worrying. That looks really funny against Ultra Instinct. And he's stunned. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so hit stuns. That's good to know. The LR is gonna do quite a bit of damage here. Nice. We are pretty low on health, though. I will say, I think if UI came out. If we survive two more rotations, I think UI or MUI should come out. Thankfully, we got Piccolo in that last slot. Okay. Hmm. What are we going to do here? Um, I guess we'll put Gohan in the front. That seems like the most logical decision here. I don't know. He should be able to take out Hit. I'm, a, I'm, going, to, I'm going to trust in my boy and assume that he will. I'm going to trust. Mmm, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that at all. Maybe I should have put Bardock there, but that's okay. I think we'll be fine now. We should have no problem here. This hit is pretty strong. He's pretty freaking strong. Okay, three mil, no problem at all. Whew. We're almost done, boys. We're almost done with this. Battlefield, uh, Battlefield, this new one is going to take a little bit of getting used to, but I'm enjoying it so far. All right, what do we got, my boy? What do we got for our final boss? Kid Boo, one of the, ugh, I, I hate that AGL art. Like, in a good way. Like, he looks disgusting and encapsulates the character very well. But, like, I hate it because it's so good. I know that makes no sense, but whatever. Okay, uh, this is also very hard. Because there's plenty of good units that we could bring here, but I think we're going to do this. Because we want their best linkage. So tech, uh, blue Vegito. Well, I guess there is units, obviously, that could link very well with him. But I don't know. I think this team that I'm running is pretty solid. Okay. Hmm. We'll do this. Yes. You're going to super. You're going to super. And I, guess, I mean, I guess TM will super. It doesn't really matter. But I do like, too, something. <laughs> Excuse me, Kid Boo. What? <laughs> All right. So he he's super right off the bat. All right. I guess it was a good decision to put Goku there because he's going to counter. I love this animation so much. Ugh, okay. Wait, is his gimmick that he supers every time? That might be his gimmick. We'll see in a second here, I guess. Two million, no crit. Okay, good. That is not his gimmick. Uh, what I was going to say was they use the backgrounds for each of the characters' battles. Or at least so far, uh, like a couple to note, you know, Ben Cooler and Kid Buu, they're using the actual background. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad that they're paying a little bit more attention to detail on that now. Four million. Nice. That's what's up. Oh my gosh. I really wish I had a dupe in those guys, but honestly, they're so good without it. Like, it doesn't even matter. Especially since how good tech is and, like, all the teams that they're on anyway, it almost doesn't even matter. Okay. This is going to be a little bit of a rough... Well, actually, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's see. Oh! That didn't drop how I wanted it to. Oh! That's really unfortunate. And I would have rather put the LR in the front if that was going to be the case of what was going to happen. Alright, well, I guess that wasn't too bad. So, is he healing and supering, like, every first slot? Is that what's happening? Because... He's definitely healing. I don't know if it just happened to be that he supered um, both times in the first slot. Okay, Goku doing decent damage. Thank Kami, the tech is so good. Otherwise, we'd be in a little bit of trouble here. Perfect, taking no damage. Don't think he can be sealed, but I didn't see, I didn't catch it up there. Um, I wasn't paying attention to that. I was paying attention to the shenanigans. Okay, so he is sealed, so that's good, I guess. 
So at least, well, the, the fortunate thing about that is that we can't find out if the whole meme is that he supers the first slot every time. But at least we won't be taking as much damage, I suppose. <sighs> Goku? Mmm. Yeah, we'll do this. Definitely gonna do this. That looks like... Yeah, that, that definitely looks like the best option. Okay. Especially since we want defense from the LR, obviously. And... We want some counter memes going on. Well, actually, you know what? He's sealed, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> I keep, I like, I'm so used to not being able to seal um, and stun bosses at this point. That's just like weird when it happens. Wow. That is a powerful card right there. All right. Super Saiyan 4 Goku coming through. Let's see what he's got. And 2 million. All right. And with that, that is Battlefield beaten. Or the new Battlefield, I guess. Battlefield 3. Point. No, I'm kidding. It's not actually 3. It's just 2.0 updated. All right. Well, that was pretty cool. I really enjoyed that. There was definitely a lot more. It's felt like at least there was a lot more like thought put into differentiating Battlefield from just a regular Dokkan event. This is all the stuff that we got, by the way. We have to win certain things so many times to get some of these rewards, as you can see here, like, you know, level three, three times. So... That we unfortunately cannot pick up, but just for you, for waiting this long and getting through this 30 minute video, just for y'all, I'm going to do a multi uh, on this banner because I do want this, uh, this Supreme Kai here because I didn't get her when she was on that featured banner. Plus, you know, LR hunting is always fun too. But yeah, so Battlefield, that was pretty awesome. Also, that's a featured unit, obviously, because it's featured in the last slot. But that was really cool. Again, like I said, it definitely feels like they put a lot more effort into kind of differentiating it from, you know, your standard Dokkan play. There was a lot more shenanigans going on there, you know, what with Great Saiyan and Android 19 absorbing those key base supers and healing from it. That was pretty cool. You know, I mean, some of the mechanics are in other events, but it definitely felt like they tried to make it a little bit more different. So, so far in this multi, we have not been getting anything good. If we get that one unit, I, I don't even know her name, which I know is terrible. Um, it just slips my mind easily. But if we get her, oh, your rainbow. Ugh. That's okay. That's all right. I'll probably do the rest of those um, on the banner. There is, you know, stuff I want to summon on coming up, but I do really want her. I actually should have looked at the banner. I don't know if I did. Obviously, she's probably the main prize of this banner. Everything else, I have rainbow or could rainbow. So, I guess the rest of it doesn't really matter. Obviously, an LR would be nice. I already did the three on there. You guys saw that on the live stream. But anyhow, without further ado, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will catch you guys in the next one. If you're on JP, hope you're enjoying the new Battlefield. Global players, look forward to it. Um, I don't know if I'll do another video on it or not. Uh, I do kind of want to start doing some showcases on Battlefield, but that is a little bit difficult because I have to get to the certain stage I want to get to. But I don't know. We'll see. Anyhow, though, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Happy you two out. Peace.